Hello, my name is ARKiller95. I'm bringing you a dual commentary here over lockdown. My role in END is security staff, and I'm also a squad leader of Charlie. And I'm Mr. Grimms. I'm a regular member who is currently learning how to play competitive and trying out for Charlie's squad. How did you find Endeavor Gaming? I was tired of getting shit teams and having no one to talk to. So I hopped on Google because I had no idea where to find clans and I searched for Modern Warfare 3 clans and Endeavor was among the top results in the first page so I thought I would check them out and I did and I really really liked what I saw so I decided to write an application. So when joining what was your experience like? Joining Endeavor was a great experience and I wrote the application like early afternoon and I got accepted later that afternoon and uh, in the evening I got invited by Your Taste in Women to a party and we played uh, basically the rest of the evening and through the night with almost a constantly full party of Endeavor members and it was really fun it was basically the most fun I've had with Modern Warfare since I got it. So you're obviously entering the competitive side. What has been your impressions so far? First impressions have been great. They really have. It's Switch like sides. just more fuel for the fire now. Because competitive is a whole different beast when compared to public matches. And it's not just that the opponents are better. It's like it's a fundamentally different way to play the game. And, I mean, I'm a competitive person, and I always play to win in whatever game I'm playing. So it's it's great fun, and I'm really loving it so far. And how, would, how has it changed your playstyle? Well, in general, uh, I've gotten better, but uh, to be more specific, it's changed how I move. I do a lot more thinking now, and I think before I move about how I should move, where I should go and what my goal is with moving. Because competitive forces you to evaluate your your options before you do something to a whole different degree than pubs do. Because if you make the wrong decision it usually means death, which if it's in search can mean that you lose the round, or in capture the flag it could be a flag cap against you. And I've also learned that you really need to switch it up. It's not like pubs where you can do the same thing over and over and over because it's your like best route in pubs you can get away with that but that really doesn't work in competitive other than that I think it's like a general just improvement across the board and also a sense of confidence because I have a better knowledge now of what can and also can't be done but enough about me what are your thoughts on the competitive scene and how has it changed you well, when I first started playing multiplayer, I just I didn't take it seriously. I just play public matches like KD or just get the best KD I could. And then once playing pro mod and GBs, it just completely changed my attitude towards it. I mean, it took, I took it much more seriously. It's much more intense, and I just enjoyed it a lot more. And of course, we all have to start somewhere. So, where did you get started? How did you get started playing competitive? So like, I was basically a PC gamer when I was really small, I just started playing Counter-Strike 1.6, after that I got into COD 4 Pro Mod, I mean that was really intense, dropped off that and then played World at War GBs on the Xbox, and then there was a big gap from Black Ops and Model Fair 2 until I joined Endeavor Gaming again, I mean Black Ops was released but we were playing on Model Fair 2, I was in Alpha for like a month or two, and then now I'm here on Model Fair 3 as squad leader. Now, since you have quite a bit of experience in competitive, I was wondering what your favorite classes were and why. I'm pretty reliant on the ACR with Red Dot and Impact. I mean, it's really crucial shooting for, through those walls if you can. And then, if not that, if I'm rushing, I'd use UMP and range. I mean, it's a great rush class. And then there's extreme conditioning and sleight of hand. I'd always use extreme conditioning. I mean, you don't really need sleight of hand. It's a search and destroy game. You're not going to need to reload and keep killing people. But in CTF, you need that sprint boost 
even if you are sprint cancelling, I just prefer extreme conditioning. The bonus of climbing up to faster really helps. So, I understand that you're an enthusiast of fighting games. Tell us a bit more about this. Well, it started when me and one of my friends got uh, Street Fighter 4 when it came out. Uh, we got hooked like straight away and uh, it just snowballed after that. We ordered arcade sticks and uh, custom parts from Japan and stuff and just started going to tournaments and just playing playing it all the time. So what would you say your top three favorite fighting games are? I would have to say that my absolute favorite is Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition because it's so perfectly balanced. Uh, after that I would say Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3 because it's uh, it's the versus series and the versus series has always been crazy and last I would say Street Fighter Third Strike because it has many interesting system mechanics and interesting characters like uh, the parry system and Oro for instance now since I since I know that you are also a fan of fighting games I was kinda wondering what your favorite fighting games were well off the top of my head I'd have to say Street Fighter vs Tekken I mean the gameplay mechanics of it aren't the best but I loved both Street Fighter and Tekken I mean I'm really a big fan of like playing them against each other um aside to that I really enjoyed Marvel vs Capcom 3 and I'd say Tekken 6 so what are your thoughts on fighting games in general? Because, uh, you know, most people think that fighting games are just about who can press the most buttons. Do you agree with that? No, I definitely disagree with that. I mean, you can button bash, you can do that if you're a beginner, but when you're playing with r pro players, it, it just doesn't work. You need strategy, you need to be like, you need to be both offensive and defensive. I mean, button bashing isn't going to get you the best combos, but actually learning them will and like it's so intense that even one mistake could cost you the game so we've all seen the black ops 2 trailer what are your impressions of this so far i'm looking forward to it i am uh, i like the fact that this shows a near future setting because i'm not a big fan of like world war 2 or cold war because i'm not a fan of the technology used back then i'm more a fan of the current technology so like modern warfare games are nice to me but it feels like that's been done enough and we need a change, we need something new and that's why I like it. It's in the future but it's not far in the future. And are you thinking of pre-ordering the game? Definitely. Um, I don't know what it is but Call of Duty has something that just keeps drawing me in. I don't know, maybe it's the rage cams because you know it's, it's always fun making kids cry. <laughs> and would you continue playing competitive? Yeah, it's, it's the same answer here, definitely. Uh, as long as Endeavor is still around, I uh, will be rocking that E&D clan tag and shooting people in the face. And as long as I can play competitive, I want to play competitive. So that's my opinions on Black Ops, but what about you? What are your opinions on Black Ops with what we know so far? The minute I saw the reveal trailer, it just reminded me of Homefront. I mean, it doesn't look unique. It's been done before, but I do like how it's a new step for Call of Duty and it's just a breath of fresh air. Although, I don't think it's going to be like revolutionary. I mean, Black Ops 1 was a new era, but there are people who are going to give hate on it. It's just, this won't stop. It's just a cycle of Call of Duty. And speaking of the original Black Ops, the very popular zombie mode is making a return in Black Ops 2. Are you looking forward to it? Definitely, I mean, I've always been a big fan of zombies. I mean, it's really promising that twice as many zombies, twice as many players in one game. And the fact that they're introducing new game modes, it looks really interesting. I'm just looking forward to it. So you were a fan of previous zombie modes in previous Call of Duty titles? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there was only one game mode with Dead Ops. I didn't really like Dead Ops, but um, it was just fun. I mean, there's already games like Left 4 Dead and Dead Island. I mean, obviously, it's not the same thing. It's just a, it's just basic, but it's still great fun. I mean, I enjoyed all the DLC maps, and I'd definitely buy them for Black Ops 2. So you've also seen footage of Counter Strike gameplay. What do you think of this? It's Counter-Strike 1.6 more or less, which I think is a good thing, because Counter-Strike is one of those timeless games that feels like it's just going to be played until the end of time, and Global Offensive will be introducing a new generation of gamers to Counter-Strike. 
and hopefully it will be huge and there will be a, there'll gonna be a big competitive scene around it. Uh, because honestly there's no reason why that couldn't happen. Uh, as for myself, I don't know how much I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna definitely try it out, but after that it depends on how much free time I have. Now there's other popular multiplayer army shooters out, like for instance Battlefield 3 and Medal of Honor. What are your opinions on those? Well, I've never been a big fan of Medal of Honor, so I couldn't really say anything about that. But with Battlefield, I've been a big fan. I mean, I loved Bad Company 2. I loved Battlefield 2 on PC. I mean, the scale of it is great. Battlefield 3 is great as well, but it's the type of game I just stick to pubs with. I mean, I prefer the MOG on COD. It's much, it's much more intense, but with Battlefield, I just couldn't get into it. Yeah, I like Battlefield 3. Uh, I like the fact that it's slower paced. It just basically comes down to what you're in the mood for. If you want something fast and hectic like Call of Duty or Quake 3 Arena, or if you want something slower like Counter Strike or Battlefield 3. And but at the moment, I'm more along the lines of faster paced games. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So, um,. So the gameplay here, we're playing a GB against a team, I'm not sure what their name was, but it's a great team, they're a big team in Norway, it's run by the community, really strong members, I mean they're great guys, I mean if you see Norway gas here, and there's another guy who's in the roster, is real Alkes with realistic gaming, great team, great guys, just a shout out, shout out to them, the link to their channel is in the description, you should check them out. Uh, so yeah, so how did you feel playing this GB? Yeah, it was fun. It was a fun match, it really was. Uh, they're good players, I think. And uh, I always think it's fun to play against good players, because that for me that's how I improve, by playing people that are better than me. Uh, gives me a lot of chance to see my own mistakes and work on how to get rid of them. Yeah, I mean, in the first round, that four-man ace, really had me surprised yeah but then after like round three or four i made some pretty bad mistakes but i mean you i think you by now like when you're watching Grigor at the last round it was really intense i mean he played it well he was patient i would have told him to do something else if you were through skype but she's a great player just a shout out to Grigor. if you don't know he's um what's his name ninja assassin here and if you see pink manly man that's yuzi bear or pocky thief if you see Varga Tider, I'm not going to pronounce that name right as I'm just... It's because you're not Swedish. If you were, it would make perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I couldn't do that. And if you see Cherry Poppins, that's me. But yeah, it was a great game. And so thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. The link to the other team's channel is in the description. And see you in the next video. This video is brought to you by Endeavor Gaming. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. Follow us on Twitter to keep up to date with what's going on, and the link to our website is in the description below.